Tensions are simmering on the French island of Corsica, where a large brawl erupted after a tourist took photos of women of North African descent wearing full-body swimsuits known as burkinis. A local youths joined in the fight in which five people were injured. Cars belonging to the North African party were also set alight. The sister of one of the local youths says her brother was violently attacked by a machete-wielding man for no reason. I am a sister of a man who was beat up yesterday for no reason. They are just young people who are going to the creek, to the beach, to have fun peacefully, running into North Africans who attack them with machetes without even saying a word. Luckily, the machete fell into the rocks, otherwise my brother's head would be cut in two. Today we could have been in mooring. These attacks can continue to happen. This time it's my brother, but tomorrow it could be your child. Following the brawl on the beach, hundreds of people marched to an area with a large North African immigration population. The locals there were reportedly trying to break into that building where some of those involved in the fight live. The mayor of Cisco, where the brawl took place, is worried that locals who took no part in any of the violence will be accused of racism. We have already suffered a lot, and now once more it will be said that it was us who attacked, that we are racists. This is totally incorrect. I have never been a racist in my life, and never will be. What I ask for is that the communities live together in harmony. We need peace on this island. In response to the unrest, Cisco imposed a ban on burkinis. The mayor justified it by saying it was intended to calm religious tensions and to protect the local North African community. It's the third French town to impose such a ban. Last week, Cannes did the same, and we have reaction to the decision. Muslims are, you know, going through the streets and hiding their faces everywhere is unacceptable on the question of the equality of sex and I ask the French state, the French government to re-emphasize that uh, men and women are equal and especially women should not be obliged to wear such bathing suits or burkas. First, the burkini is not something new. It's, u it's used in Florida, it's used in California, it's used in every site where there is uh, some uh, uh, beaches and, every, uh, and, and everything. So I don't see any problem. If there is no problem in USA, if there is no problem of wearing this in UK, if there is no problem of wearing this in any other European countries, why there should be a problem of wearing it in France? We have to implement our law very strictly. If this kind of people don't want to live in France and don't, cannot accept that their women are going bathing, you know, in normal bathing suits, they have the opportunity to leave France and to go to any country where this kind of behavior is accepted. Argumentation that valid this ban on burkini is not at all valid for me. It's it's literally a punishment on Muslim now, uh, or what, what is going around in France, just because they think that it's an ostentatious sign showing a religiosity where the principle of secularism or political secularism should be applied. A very good author in France said that I would have liked that France secure my rights to wear the veal rather than my rights to unwear the veal. Time for a very short break here on RT International. When we return, the latest from the unrest in Milwaukee, where an initially peaceful protest has spiraled into chaos, days of looting and arson. We're back in a second.